just wanna be okay, be okay, be okay. I just wanna be okay today. I just wanna be okay, be okay, be okay. I just wanna be okay today. Hello, my name is Mati. Today we're going to create a family tree in Sway. I just wanna feel something today. Okay, today I'm going to show you how to work in Sway. What is Sway? Sway is an, an app where you can uh, design presentations. It's very easy, very dynamic to work with the students. So what do you need first? What do, what do you need is to have an email account in Outlook or uh, Lead or in Hotmail. When you have it, so you write here, my Sway. Okay, you click here, sway, and it's there. You have two options to create your presentation. You, have to, you can create a new one, or you can import a document from Word, PowerPoint, or PDA. In this case, I'm going to create a new one. So I'm going to show you one of my lessons. This is one of my lessons plans. Uh, it's called My Family Tree. This one is done. What do you have to do first? You have to write your title. Your title in this case is My Family Tree. Okay, so you have, you have two, two options to background a picture. You click here in black, in background a picture and you have lots of pictures here. This is one of the beautiful things to work in Sway. You can add documents from OneDrive, OneNote, Facebook, Brain, YouTube, Twitter, or you can choose one of the pictures from Sway. So your title is Family Tree, so you choose one of these pictures. So here you have, two, you have two options, to drag a picture from Sway, or you have another option, you can upload a picture from your folders. A example, my family three, I don't have one, so I close it. And I choose one from here. You click in this part, and you add a picture. And the picture is there. Okay. Step number two. Step number two, I wrote a test, a text. How do you write a text? Okay. So you click here. And you have the options. Do you want a heading? Do you want a text? Okay, you write a text. What's it? So you have a text here. Here, well, I have the icon where you can uh, see my planning in one note. I have my plan in OneNote, okay? So here, to write any, any text, example, my instructions. You have the options, you can emphasize it, or you can accent your writing. Number three, I have the evidence of my planning lesson from OneNote. You can find it here in this link, the planning lesson I created in OneNote. I have these pictures here. And you can check them here in preview. So you have the option to design this part. How can you design something? Okay, you write a heading. You type a heading and so you write here a uh, example, mother. This is your vocabulary. You click here. You have search sources. So you write here, mother.
and automatically you can find so many features here. You can choose one. So I like this one. So you can select this one and you add a picture. If you want to present more vocabulary, so you click here in insert a content, you write heading, and now you write mother, father. You click here to drag a picture. Doesn't work, so you write here, father. The other way to drag a picture. Oh, you don't like these pictures. Okay. So you click here, insert a content, and you upload a picture from your folders. Father. Oh, this is a father. So you click here, you click open, and now you have your picture. Okay. This is my vocabulary. And my vocabulary is in, the, in this part. Grandmother, grandfather, mother, father, son, and daughter. As you can see, my pictures is on a stack. How do you do? How can you organize your pictures? It's very simple. What you have to do is to choose your pictures. So you click in your picture. You can have as many pictures as you want. So you select the picture, you choose add. And there you have the picture. How many pictures do you want? Four, five, three. So you add another picture. There is another way to upload a picture. You select upload and you go to your folders and you can select a picture. You add it very quickly. How many? I want to add another picture. I select upload. I go to my folders and I choose grandfather. You select grandfather. And there you have three pictures. Another way to select your pictures is you go to cards and you choose here under text stack. And the following pictures are going to be in the stack. So you do in the same way, you add a picture, you choose your picture, okay, you select your picture, choose add, now your picture is added, you select another picture, if you want to upload a picture, you choose daughter, double click, there's your picture. So you add one more picture. You can choose it from here or you can add it. You can upload another picture and you can choose father. There's your picture. And then if you want to go to the preview, here are your pictures. You can stack your pictures. You want you can group your pictures 
or you have another options. If you click in options, you can have a little picture, small pictures, medium, intense is big, so you choose moderate. You click here, and now you go to preview, and now your pictures are in another way. This is another way to stack your pictures. Next step, so you have some example for your students of how your family members should be. In the next step, students use different apps to create their own families. In my case, student, students use Mindomo, ArtRange, OneNote, and, Ex, and Xmind. Here are the pictures. You can stack your pictures here. You have three options. My evidences are here in this part. It's the same way. How can you attach a video here? So you click here. And you can upload a video. So you choose one of your videos, you open, and the video appears here. So this is the final part of the presentation, your evidences. Now just see your preview. The last part of the presentation are your intentions. Here is a video, and you have another video here. And this is the end of my presentation. My topic is family tree. My planning in one note. The students use these apps to create their family tree. And finally, I have my evidences here. You can add a video and if you go to preview, there's your presentation, your title. your link where you can check your my planning lessons on OneNote, the pictures, the evidences of the planning, and your vocabulary on stacks. This is an example. And these are the apps, Mindomo, Outrange, WinNote, and Xmind, where students create their family tree. And finally, you have the evidences. So you can click here. This is the end of the presentation. I just want to be okay.